Do you ever wonder why LASIK causes starbursts and halos? I'll tell you why. During LASIK, only the center 6 to 6.5 millimeters of the cornea is fully corrected. This is called the optical zone. The blend zone, also known as transition zone, is just a tapering of the laser treatment to prevent a sharp transition from treated cornea to untreated cornea. Optical zone plus blend zone equals ablation zone. As the cornea heals after LASIK, it attempts to sort of fill in the area where corneal tissue was removed, and so the optical zone actually shrinks, leaving what's called the effective optical zone. Why does this matter? It matters because many LASIK patients have pupils that dilate in dim light to 6 millimeters, 7 millimeters, 8 millimeters, or even larger. When the pupil dilates larger than the effective optical zone of the LASIK treatment, Unfocused light rays enter the eye, creating starbursts and halos. A new study, November 2023, measured effective optical zones one year after LASIK, PRK, and SMILE. As expected, all three surgeries resulted in optical zones smaller than intended. The authors reported the size of the effective optical zones in square millimeters, but since most people don't understand square millimeters, I did a rough conversion to millimeters in diameter, assuming a round area. The average effective optical zone in LASIK in this study was 4.99 millimeters, with PRK 4.97 millimeters, and with SMILE 5.31 millimeters. So now you can see why so many patients complain of starbursts and halos at night after laser eye surgery. These visual aberrations are common after surgery, not rare, as LASIK surgeons claim. If you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell to be notified of all my future uploads.